Hey everybody, Alan with the Reby Homes team here. Hey, have you ever had any issues with your air handler, with your condensate line going on, some water damage that might come from uh, problems there? That's what we're talking about today, so hang around. We'll show you what you need to know. Hey everybody, Alan with the Reby Homes team here and I am back with John with Falcon Property Inspections and we are looking at an air handler here. Um, we've got a condensate line and I wanted to introduce you to something that is very, very, very helpful and it's called a uh, float switch. So John, what can you tell us about a float switch? What is that? Okay, so in any configuration uh, that has a condensate line, and the condensate line is there to take moisture out of the air. This is going to be running all summer. This is pulling the moisture out of your system. In this case, this is a split heat pump. So what we have, what we're looking at right here, is the air handler portion of the heat pump. The heat pump itself is downstairs on the outside of the house. So this is a split heat pump configuration. In this instance, what we have is the main condensate line with a P-trap here so that this stays wet. This, this helps to optimize the flow. And a vent here, the vent needs to be four inches above the meniscus of the water that's in this P-trap to keep it running optimally. And then we're recommending, and this has been installed in this particular application, a float switch. And that float switch has this low voltage wire it's attached to the thermostat, which is right over here behind this door. And that float switch will sense whether or not this main condensate line blocks. And when it blocks, it will send a signal to the thermostat to shut the cooling system down. And that is basically there so that we don't have a backup. This is very important in this configuration because underneath here, and, and we have a shot underneath here, underneath here and underneath in the in first floor is a bathroom and that bathroom is actually that's the shower stall right underneath here so if this leaks then we're going to have a problem and this condensate line with the float switch is there to help prevent this from backing up and causing a leak inside the house wow that's great love the concept of the float switch. That is something that um, I, I don't believe most people know about. So. It's super important in an attic application because in an attic application you have a pan typically underneath your furnace because your furnace is working in concert with your cooling system. And that pan is there to catch water in case this main condensate line backs up. That pan is there to catch water and there has an attached drain line and that's the drain line that for those of you that are going through this is the high line on the side of the house that's your alarm and that basically says my drain pan is filling with water i need to do something about this because the main kind of condensate line is blocked right so the float switch great backup i can tell you from my own experience not monitoring the high line um, i had too much water build up in the pan when it was in my attic and literally my whole ceiling in the closet came down. It was a mess. So little things like this, great information. John, thanks for sharing that. Pleasure. If you like these kind of informative videos, please remember to like and share, comment down below. We'll see you next time.